Just... I don't know. Does Doyle? <sighs> no. Yeah, I, I'm not certain. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe the bakery then. All right. I was just looking at your menu. No, what are you, Starling? Well, there's a lot of different things here. There are. The donuts are quite delicious, I must tell you. Oh, they look nice. Mm hmm. They got wagon repair kits here. We sure do. Interesting. We have a little bit of everything here. We're thinking of having a wagon eventually. Do they come recommended? I recommend the wagon. Oh, that's the right answer. Mm-hmm. What's your opinion on electricity and how it's gonna fade away? I don't know. I mean, I love... Don't get me wrong, I love candlelight more than anything. That's right, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. I knew you were one of the good ones. I don't <laughs> like all this electrical stuff. It's everywhere, it's causing trouble, humming and buzzing. It's so noisy too, you are so right. But the candlelight yes. is very moody and it's beautiful. Have you ever heard a loud candle that kept you awake at night? Never. Never. No, exactly. But mm -hmm. this electrical stuff, it's gonna fade away. I give it two more weeks and people are gonna be tired of it. I think so too. I think you are so right, my dear. Ah, that's good. Well, I'm glad. Of course. What's your name, darling? My name's Elviny. Oh, nice to meet you. I am Vesper. Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you as well. And I'm her husband, Eustace. Hello. Nice to meet you, Eustace. My pleasure. Uh, anybody looking to buy leather? Hmm. I don't know. Harry, are we looking to buy leather right now? Uh, I'm a... Oh, that was a yes. Let me check. I think that was a yes, too, yeah. That was a yes, I heard it. Someone's hat is on the floor over here. Yeah, it's a oh, nice that's white mine. one. Oh, uh, all right. My fiance over to the, the right, of, or the, yeah, the uh, right of you, he got a little excited seeing me today. Excited. <laughs> well, yeah, we're all set in leather right now. Ah, uh, that's the wrong answer. All right. Well, thank you, anyhow. Well, thank yeah, you. We, we, we only use it for flasks, and we got seven right now, so we'll, we'll be set for a while. Seven flasks. All right. Mm, the flasks, not canisters, right? Right, yeah. Do you pre-flavor the flasks like anything? Do they come flavored like donuts? Donut-flavored flasks. Get them here and now. Mint that's a, that, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. I, would go, I would go ahead and pre-flavor some. Put a little Mint whiskey in there. Lemon. Yeah, you could also have one that's flavored like cigars. Mm. You know, somebody might like cigars, and then you say, oh, well, we have a flask that's flavored like cigars, and every time you take a sip, you feel like you're having one. Mm. Well, I mean, to be honest, with the amount of tobacco that we got in here, they probably already do taste a little bit like cigars. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You've already got your selling point. You just store them. If you store the flasks with a bunch of cigars, they're gonna smell like and taste like cigars a little bit. You tell people it covers the flavor of the little dead fish that you drink out of the water here mm -hmm. in town. Yeah. And the oil, too. You are so smart, my that's dear. Not a bad yeah, idea. that's what. Every time you heat this flask, it's going to smell like warm cigars. It'll be thrilling. It's not going to smell a bit like little dead fish. And Everyone. It help reduce your stress because it smells like cigars. And what does tobacco do? It reduces <sighs> your stress. That's right. You keep it in your pocket and people will think that, that you've got cigars. They'll think you're always ready for a party. You'll get invited to more parties if you have a cigar-scented flask. That's a proven fact. No, we don't want to keep you. Uh, when we do need leather, though, I'll keep you two in mind. I, I see you around town fairly often, so I'll, I know who to flag down now. Mm -hmm. okay. right, sure. Yeah, I got quite a bit of it stored up. I just can't never find anybody. 
They say oh, yes. always horse trainers, but uh, every time I talk to a horse trainer, oh, they okay. look at me cross-eyed. Uh, none Typical of those horse, horse trainers. People. They don't ever need leather. You can try seeing if the doctors need it. Oh, yeah. They wanted it uh, 50 cents on a dollar, I think. Uh, they, they, even... they, they bought like 50 off of me the other day and wanted just a dollar a piece. They had a sign on the wall that says three dollars. They will pay you three dollars a piece. And then they paid one dollar. The next thing you know, it's going to be 15 cents. Uh, hopefully yeah. not. And then I had to buy the materials uh, for the water, go over guarma, farm the salt. Not to complain, but it's a lot of work just to get uh, one piece of leather out of it's oh, yeah. work. And you gotta pay money for stuff. There's upkeep on everything. You're not uh, using some of that leather to make these chairs, are you? No, these are all 100% wood. Uh, a little bit of metal, I guess. What? what? These are, wait a and minute. Often. Uh, huh? Oh, these, these big ones? Uh, yeah. I don't know. They came, they came with the building. Made out of wood. Oh, they're nice. I like chest. them. I feel like I'm in a haunted place sometimes. Yeah, you, there's... Me too, my dear. I see things left and right in my corner of my eyes. I swear I see things all the time that move. I'm trying yeah. to stay right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, everybody <laughs> sees uh, all kinds of things sometimes. We saw a pair of trousers walk out of the cemetery a couple of days ago. Oh, to, dear, to I, that is definitely a ghost for sure, especially if you see his trousers walk out of the cemetery. I know it there was, is one that likes to hang out right outside of it. It's, it was it's a, a squeaking torso. It was a squeaking gate, and the gate slid open, and two pair of empty trousers walked across the street. Oh, I one would have right behind the other. seen that. If I stand here between the exhausted women, I don't have any issues with what I see. Hmm. Maybe the women are so tired they're giving out some sort of, some sort of a, a, a dreams or something. Maybe you're oh. picking up something. Maybe some of the pheromones. Could be. Oh, I hear a noise now coming from the other side. Hmm. Sounds like snoring. Oh dear. Um, I heard somebody was uh, yelling out Green Goblin. Does anybody know what the Green Goblin is? Is there a goblin in town? Uh, there's a swamp goblin. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. not that. I don't know um, about Green Goblin, though. We did see the swamp monster. Uh, the, I reported it to the game warden the other day. Now, that was a river monster. There's a few things around. Have you seen this creature that inhabits the river with the long neck? No. Comes around when it's foggy. Ooh, I would love to see this creature. Yeah, we were over there where you collect the little nasty water down by the river. Mm -hmm. And there was some sort of creature out there with a very long neck in the river during one of those, one of those very foggy times. I don't know what it was. We've asked other people around town. Someone thought maybe it was a dinosaur of some kind. And someone said maybe they're awake now. Maybe they were frozen. We're wondering, we've heard things about pollution here in town. And if you look at the smokestacks just outside the windows here, you can tell they're putting out some sort of vapors. We're wondering if those vapors are going northward and maybe melting the ice up there. Maybe oh. releasing something that's been previously frozen. <gasps> oh dear. Yeah. You know, I have seen some very large bones just outside the colter, so it would not surprise me if there's something frozen up there that's still around and kicking. And what is that skull that's in the top of the house in Guam? Yeah, it's got real sharp mm. teeth and really big. <gasps> it's in the attic. <laughs> It's in the oh, attic. It's in the air. Oh, I've seen it. It's like a... Uh, I we thought know. it was a bear, but yeah. it's got very pointed teeth. I feel like it's a little bit too big to be a bear. If we're thinking... If we're all thinking the same thing, and I think we are, mm. that the ice is melting, the creatures are coming out now, maybe it's a skull of some kind of dinosaur or something. I think you're right. Uh, I 
that's happening. It's all right. You know, I do think there are some bones somewhere out in the heartland somewhere. Oh. Just out there. The creatures are spreading out. They're coming from the frozen area. And as soon as they leave, they're starting to spread to different areas. This one in the river here. This one in Guam and the attic. They're everywhere, my dear, I tell you. They are. They just keep popping up. It's time for us to worry now. Hmm. What's next, you know? Yeah, that's right. If it was yeah. bright enough in here, I would show you my monocle. Hmm. Well, yeah. at night, when the sun goes down, the lights in here that I put up, they bring this place to life, I must tell you. Ooh. Or just the candles <laughs> everywhere. If it's very bright, then the sun will reflect off my monocle, and you can see something interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like, uh, look at the bank sometimes. I have to go outside. I can see some sunlight over there. Hmm. Are you able to come outside and look into yes, my monocle? Yes, so let's go look. Why not? All right. Hmm. You have to look. Let me take my hat off. There you go. And you have to stand with your back to the sun, and then you have to look out through your eyes. <gasps> look closely. Oh, I yeah. see. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a little half moon next to your beautiful green eyes. Yeah, there's a oh. moon in there. And look at the little handle. It's oh, like a little it... piece of corn. It's adorable. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that interesting? That is so interesting! It only happens if the sun hits it just right, so I can only do it at certain times of day. Oh, well, thank you. Of course, of course. Yep, yeah, I thought it was nice. S something unusual, not everybody knows. All right? Mm. It's a well, little thank something sweet. Thank you for showing us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. We hope things are going well at Cigar Shop. Well, they are going very well. They're very, very well. Very good. Well, we're gonna keep moving through town, but it was nice to meet you all. It was nice to meet you too. Mm, pleasure. Yeah, good luck. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe, you two. It was so nice to meet you both. Thank you very much. So, no uh, lodgesons or the honey lodgesons? Not there. They don't have them. Hmm. I wonder who. I don't know. They said they thought that maybe Doyle sold them or somewhere else. Hmm. Check over there, I guess. We can find them somewhere. I want to go by the storage and by where the horses are. Okay. I'm just making my way through town. Mm, would the bakery over there? Yeah, that's the one they said to try, the bakery. We can go over there and try. Mm, how'd he do? How do? I like his hat. Yeah, he was styling. He had a stylish hat. Pre-flavored flasks. I'm telling you, it's going to be in fashion soon. So, they're not selling the canteen, but flask. No, they're selling flasks. Sir, they're not selling the canteen. They're selling flasks. Watch out for the river monster. You can see it from there if it gets foggy. Hello, officer. Officer, there's no time for smoking when you're on duty. Don't, don't they teach you that in, in, in the school? You're not supposed to smoke while on duty. It's a distraction. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, let's head to the bakery and see what they have.
you taking on right now? What do you have taken on right now? Um, I've got to get a hold of Dazzy and train her Shire and then... I guess we go by to Wales and see if they have them. Yeah, that's fine. Says host your event on the rouse. Weddings, birthday showers, baby showers. Never had a birthday shower. Sounds exciting. A shower to shower. Take a Birth bath. Birthday showers and baby parties. My goodness. Host your next wedding or divorce on board the train. Meowdy. We bring the lawyers to you when you host your divorce on the rails. We bring a judge and jury on board to host your trial on the rails. <laughs> 